Good afternoon. New information in the case of a woman accused of running down a bicyclist. 20-year-old Memory Hardwick has now been charged with vehicular homicide following the death of the cyclist last week. News 13's David Romero live in the Newsplex with the story. Deanna Hardwick was already in jail after being arrested last week in a drug case when she was slapped with the new charges just yesterday. Police interviewed Hardwick shortly after the May 12th crash. She told them and that she told them she and a friend were headed home after trying unsuccessfully to buy drugs. They say Hardwick told them she was approaching the intersection of Washington and Indian School when she dropped a lit cigarette on her seat. She says she looked down to find it and when she looked up, she had run a red light. Hardwick also told officers she knew she had hit a bicyclist and thought they were dead, so she panicked and took off. Police caught up with her a short time later, and Hardwick also told police she had frequently used meth and had been awake for several days. Investigators found syringes and drug paraphernalia inside the SUV she was driving. She was given a field sobriety test. Those results are still pending. The bicyclist was 36-year-old Matt Trujillo. Trujillo was seriously injured and placed on life support, and he died last Thursday. Now, the DA's office said today they had sufficient evidence other than just toxicology results for the new charge to be filed against Hardwick. Deanna, back to you. All right, thank you, David. Hardwick's bond was set at close to half a million dollars. She's expected to make her first appearance in court on the vehicular homicide charges later this afternoon.